There are several pros to low-cost airlines including the ability to take more people on vacation, being able to travel to multiple destinations, and having a lower injury rate. One of the most significant advantages is that these airlines can provide people with opportunities to travel that they may not otherwise have. This is especially beneficial for families or groups who want to visit multiple locations without breaking the bank. Low-cost airlines also have a lower injury rate, which makes them a safer option for travelers. The basic idea of a low-cost airline is to reduce expenses so that customers can purchase a product for a low price that just includes the necessities. There are several advantages to flying on low-cost airlines. Some advantages include Due to their low rates, low-cost airlines are accessible to a large number of individuals. One-way tickets on low-cost flights can occasionally be purchased for as little as $50. When purchasing these flights in advance, consumers can save up to 80%. Additionally, low-cost airlines have specials that can further lower ticket costs. Cheap airlines are equally as secure as established ones. Most low-cost airlines use brand new aircraft. This offers travelers the opportunity to enjoy the newest amenities and aircraft technology at a reasonable price. Typically, low-cost airlines fly to smaller airports since parking there is much less expensive than at major airports. There may be a longer distance from the airport, which presents a chance for sightseeing. Low-cost airlines enjoy a privileged operating environment in which fuel and maintenance costs are low to begin with, meaning cuts in these departments make for larger reductions in fares for consumers. Elsewhere, these carriers have kept their overheads down by avoiding large airport staff, opting to employ just a few. Fewer restrictions and fees than traditional airlines. This can make booking and flying on a low-cost airline simpler and more affordable. Fly to more destinations than traditional airlines. This means that passengers have more options when choosing their destination airport. Now, let's see some of the cons of low-cost airlines. The level of service provided by low-cost airlines is inferior to that of traditional carriers. This implies that you might have to give up comfort, Wi-Fi, and food and drink. Hidden expenses for printing your own boarding card can incur an additional fee, as does paying at the airport to have one produced. Additionally, you can pay more for hold baggage. Excess baggage is limited by low-cost carriers. Budget airlines permit carry-on luggage, but it must adhere to certain weight and size restrictions. By scheduling flights during off-peak times, low-cost airlines make money. The majority of low-cost airlines don't assign seats. You must arrive at the airport early if you have a specific seat in mind. Consequently, if you are traveling with someone, it is possible that you will become separated from them during the flight. Since most low-cost airlines charge for date changes, doing so could cost you money. The majority of low-cost airlines don't give refunds for missing flights. Because the planes arrive at less expensive airports, getting to and from the airport can be challenging due to the distance, which could increase costs. The majority of these carriers don't connect flights. There are times when the needs of travelers who require transfers are not met. Since they are not accountable for practically any part of your journey, these businesses only provide the bare minimum compensation in the event of lost luggage, flight cancellations, delays, or loss. So, low cost or not? A no-frills trip with basic features is well worth considering as an alternative to paying for a full-service flight that provides a selection of complimentary services. You might save money, but you'll undoubtedly have to make some concessions. Your choice may come down to whether you have a limited budget and would prefer to spend more money at your destination instead, or whether you would prefer to treat yourself throughout your entire travel and are willing to pay more.